Hi, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. We're gonna do a two-part series on blogging. Here we go. starts our first of two videos that we're going to do back to back about blogging. We want to give you some really cool tips and ways that you can do different kind of t uh, tricks and, and, and um, options that you can get in there to your blog and really enhance the user experience for all of your readers. So here are the first few tips. All right, y'all, for everybody who's wanting to blog on their WordPress website, let's talk about it. Today we're going to walk through featured images. We're going to talk about sticky posts. We're going to talk about comments and the more tag. And then next week, I'll give you even some more cool insights to making your blogs actually really pop and create a great user experience is really what we're going for here. So the very first topic is going to be about a featured image. Why do we even want to use them, right? So the thing is, if your author has allowed um, all of your blog articles to be listed maybe in you know the archives list for a category right so we've created a category and if you click on that category we want all of our blog articles that are inside that category to list out right well sometimes your your author will allow an image to sit next to it as the featured image that helps really visually capture exactly what that blog post is about so if you don't set this area on your blog um, the the post won't dynamically pull anything so right here on the right side this is the featured image down here so you can set featured image you can either pull from what you already have inside of your media library these are images that you may have already uploaded to your website or you can come here to upload files and grab uh, an image that you may already have on your computer right that you want to use and be sure to use royalty free images better yet use original images right so you can use this one and we can click uh, if you want to, you can add some alt text, you can uh, change the title of it, all those things are good for SEO purposes, right? And then we want to click set featured image. And notice now we've got a preview right here of, of that image. So now we know for a fact that we've got a featured image set for this particular blog post and we would click update. Um, the difference with that again is if you were to go and, and view the actual um, website now, see this particular uh, article allows the, that whole featured image to take up the full width of your screen and really, really capture the, the viewer's attention and then allows the whole blog article to be um, listed down below. So pretty cool. And everybody's theme is going to function a little differently on how that displays. But um, it's really, really great user experience uh, to, to be sure to set that featured image. All right. Next thing we want to talk about are more tags. So I'm going to go up here and visit the front side of my website really quickly and show you so we're on the home page right now. I'm going to show you that this particular blog article reads all the way down the page, right? All the way down the page. This means that your users don't have to click in to go read the rest of this article. But if this article is extremely long, you certainly don't want your page, if you have 10 of these blog articles on one page, they're going to be scrolling for infinity, right? So what we want to do is give them a really great user experience. And for SEO purposes, we want people to click in deeper into your website, right? So we want to do that little read more tag that is um, innate inside of WordPress. So what we want to do is come back here to our blog post. If your uh, WYSIWYG area here, what you see is what you get. If your icon's up here in this little admin area, um, if, if you don't see all of this, this little icon right here that says toggle toolbar will open up all these other options. But the little icon you really want is this one right here. It says re insert the read more tag. That's the little icon you want. Or if you're inside the text mode, it just says more. So you would come to maybe two paragraphs in or so, or however long you want that little blurb to be that captures their attention, that gives them a quick insight of what this article is. Uh, you would just put your cursor where you want that read more tag to be and click more, right? It drops in this little bit of, I guess, what would be called a short code in some senses, but it's a, it's a out of the box WordPress function that allows the more tag to be listed there. So now if I click update and I come back to the front side of my website and I click refresh, now, as I scroll down, now I, I can put easily 10 articles on one page. And what I'm allowing users to do is read a very quick snippet of what this article is about, right? And then if they want to know more and they're, they're, they're intrigued, uh, they can click continue reading 
and come in here and read the entire full article, right? So it really depends on, again, what your author has allowed uh, that verbiage to say. Some, some authors make this say, uh, read more. Some say continue reading. Some say see full article. Um, but this particular author coded it continue reading. So you click there and it takes you into the individual post itself and allows you to see the entire article. So very cool little read more tag. Very, very, very helpful. So let's talk about sticky posts. All right. Um, you've probably heard that if you've been spent any time whatsoever in WordPress, you've probably heard of sticky posts. What that means is uh, it's a function that you can set to any post that you have that allows it to be sticky and move back to the top of your blog post. We know that all blog posts list on your website chronologically, correct? They all list the most recent one that you've written lists at the top right? So what we want to do is maybe maybe there's a blog article that we know is really, really important and we wrote it three weeks ago, but man, people are really still talking about it. And we want that one to still be seen at the top. We don't want it to get lost in the shuffle. WordPress allows you to tag it as sticky. And whenever you do that, it immediately takes it to the top and makes it stay, makes it basically trump everything else and stay on the top. And then your most recent one will uh, sit right underneath it every single week. All right. So, or every time you post rather rather so the way you do that is you go to all posts I'm gonna take you back to my home page really quickly on this website and let you see what that looks like so right now this free fonts that rock is sitting up here with this huge featured image that's that's the uh, initial featured image so what we want to do is make what is WP code Academy sticky we want to take that one and make it trump everything else so the way you get to that function is you click on quick edit and right over here is make this post sticky. And if you click update, now when I go back to my website and click refresh, now that article that was written way back on October 7th is still gonna stay at the top and then here's the next one that was October 20th and then here's the one before that, 16th and so forth and so on. Does that make sense? And that will stay trumped on the top of all these blog articles until you unsticky it. So that's a really cool tip. Okay, and the very last thing I want to talk to you guys about are comments, right? So um, maybe you want people to be able to engage with you on your uh, blog post, right? So when you come in here and they're reading down and they see the blog post, they see the author area, there's one comment already on the site, but apparently I took out the, the ability for anybody else to comment, right? I had removed it. Well, I want that back. I want people to be able to comment on these blog posts. So coming in here to... Again, we're going to use that really cool little quick edit area, and we're going to check this box right here that says allow comments. So we click update, come back here, we click refresh, and now there's going to be a box available for people not only to see the comments, but also now leave a comment. So that little quick area, quick edit area allows you to do both. It allows you to check that box, or if there's maybe a blog post that already has it checked and you don't want people to be commenting on it, you can uh, disallow it by unchecking that box and click update. Also, be sure to check with your author uh, inside of whatever area they might give you to customize the theme because they might have one uh, general spot that you can check to hide all comments or disable all commenting capabilities inside the blog um, all the way across the board inside your website. Depends on your, your specific theme though if your author has allowed you to do that with one check all the way across the board. If not, if you wanted to do it in kind of a bulk method, there is a way to check this box here come here and do an edit, apply, and right here we can say do not allow, and that would allow you to make this change to at least 20 posts at a time throughout your entire um, blog. All right, so those are some really incredible tips that are super easy to use. Be sure to take notes on that or bookmark this video so that you can uh, reference these every time that you're creating a blog post, all right? Catch us next week because I'm going to show you some even more cool tips on how to enhance your blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any videos, and we'll see you at a local WordPress meetup group. Bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.